I feel every walk is a poetry pilgrimage. A poetry pilgrimage. Hmm. Does like, AWP count? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but, gosh, which ones do you want? I mean, just name someone and I've been there from. Um, to Yates, and I've been to, uh, well, my birthday is, I share a birthday with Goethe. So I've done pilgrimages to Goethe's house, to every place he's ever, you know, worked in, and also Schiller, and I'm trying to think, Keats' grave, well, he must, one must, but Keats' grave, and yeah, there's lots of them, honey, lots of them. Yeah. Emily Dickinson's house, of course, and through all of that. Yeah. To Renee Char's grave, um, which was amazing. Gustav Sobin um, tended the, uh, the the flora, the the plant life around the grave. Um, he's he was still tending it until he died about five years ago. I went on that pilgrimage there. It was in the south of France, um, and he talked about uh, Char and Heidegger and their actual love, their love for each other. There was nowhere to go to, to to sort of have a private textual life with that love. I haven't seen the letters, and so it was just Gustav as the sort of like tour guide of the grave, and that was the way to that was the way to see it. Maharashtra, India. I went to a mountaintop. I was backpacking around India, and I was reading Basho's Narrow Road to the Interior, and that book is all about him. Uh, making a pilgrimage to a mountain to see the full moon and I thought this was a really cool idea so I heard that the full moon was happening and that there were these great mountain ranges and I just um, grabbed a bedroll and bought a coconut machete and went uh, hiking up into the mountains in Maharashtra and uh, wrote some poetry by moonlight on top of the mountain. Uh, nothing that's been published, I just wrote some haiku. <laughs> Yes, it's a, a very different kind of poetry pilgrimage, but um, I did uh, find out through a friend of mine of a, a hotel room um, in Portland, Oregon. They used to be at the Joyce Hotel, which was for like kind of like a one hour to one day uh, room service, um, where uh, Allen Ginsberg had spent a night in Portland in the uh, early well, mid 50s. So found the room and then stayed there, read Ginsburg poems, and drank uh, some beers and went to bed.